All right, so you're probably familiar with Burp Suite, with intercepting, repeating, intruding, comparing, sequencing, and all that good stuff. But if you're yet to use Burp Suite's extender, then we have some nice plugins for you that will work on the community, professional, or enterprise editions. Now, there are lots of great extensions for Burp Suite, some of the most popular ones like Autorize, ActiveScan++, CSRF Scanner, all make your life easier. But today, I wanted to cover some extensions that First of all, are not very well known, and secondly, will improve your workflow, collaboration, and reporting. So first up, how do we even add extensions? Well, you just come over to the Extender tab, and then you can see your current extensions. And if you go to the B App Store, you can see a list of available extensions ready to go. Now, the first one we're gonna look at is Pentest Mapper. So we can just search in here. And we can see the rating is pretty high and the popularity is a little on the low side. To install this extension, um, we do need one thing though, which is we need Jython. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly download Jython and configure it and then come back. So over here in Google, we can just search for Jython download and we can see downloads from jython.org and all we want is the standalone. So let's go for the current version and then we click Slave, and then we come back to Web Suite, come to Options, come to Location of Jython Standalone Jar File, select. You can move it to somewhere that's a little bit more logical if you want, um, but we select Jython Standalone, click Open, and there uh, we're good to go. So when we come back to the App Store, you'll see that the button is still grayed out, but actually, if we search for another plugin, we just click off and click back on to refresh the interface. We can install this plugin. And you'll see that a new page has opened up up here. So from the main page here, we can see we have checklist. Now this is empty at the moment and we could fill this manually or we can just import a CSV. So I have one prepared here, ready to go. If we go checklist.csv, click choose, and you can see that we have a bunch of items, which includes what the vulnerability or check is, and we can work our way down this list. This is something that's really useful if you're following a particular methodology or you want to make sure that you haven't missed out any vulnerabilities or checks on your pen test. So next up, we have the API mapper. So firstly, we need some traffic. So I'm just gonna come to this vulnerable application I have set up. Just quickly create a new user, click register. So user test already exists, but that's okay. If we come to proxy HTTP history, we can see the traffic uh, that we've generated. Now here with this, I can right click on this request, which is going to the uh, slash API slash v2 slash users endpoints, go to extensions, pen test mapper, and send to API mapper. So now when I come back here, I can add some information about this. So this is great user, for example, um, and I can see the request response. I can save test cases and I can change the set status to pending. So I'm currently testing this, you know, maybe I go away, have lunch, come back and I can see all of the API endpoints that I'm still working on. So next up, I have the vulnerabilities page and we can easily find a very simple vulnerability here. So if I create a user called test user that I know doesn't exist and I just set a simple password of pass, I can register. This is quite weak. So this is a weak password policy that we want to flag up to the engineers. So if we come back to proxy, HTTP history, we can see the post request, extensions, pen test mapper, center vulnerability. And when we come back to here, we can see the URL, we can see parameters, and we can set the vulnerability. So in this case, I think we will have weak password policy, and we can set the severity as well. So now we have the replicator, and we can search for this same under extender B app store. And what the replicator does is often you'll find yourself in a situation where you've reported an issue, dropped a message into a Slack channel with developers, and someone says, ah, I can't replicate this, or can you show me how to replicate this issue? 
Well, Replicator is here to quickly and easily send requests, findings, um, export them, share them, and then retest them later on or from different environments. So let's go down, install the plugin. Again, if you need the documentation, you can go and check out the GitHub repository. And this brings up a new tab for us. So next to Pentest Mapper, we have Replicator. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to our proxy and we're going to come to this API endpoints, API v2 users. And then I'm going to send this to the repeater. And I know that um, this user already exists with this test and this password. And when I send it, I get a 409 conflict instead of something like I don't exist, where I get a 201 created. So here, what I want to do is I want to right click extensions, send to replicator. And then if I come to the replicator, when I press test, it says unable to replicate. But if I do something like, for example, when the vulnerable endpoint is hit, if it's always going to return a 409 conflict, I can put this into the graph expression and hit test. And you can see now it's very easy to test whether some endpoint is still vulnerable. Now we can save this, save the replicator file, and then we can load it and then we can test or we can keep as many requests in here as we want to quickly come back and retest previous issues. And the final one for today, we're going to come back to Extender. We're going to go to the vApp store and we're going to search for word list. And basically we're going to use this word list extractor. Now it's probably not as flexible as something like cool or some other word list extractor, but if you need a very fast word list, then this is the way to go. So now what we're going to do is, so we come to the site, we're going to just register a quick user saying called test test so that we can log in, register, login. And we have this uh, login page here. Now in Web Suite, we just come to proxy. We come down to the request that we want to use. So I want to crawl the home.html. I right click, click extensions, word list extractor, custom word list. And I choose where to save it out to. So I'm just going to call this wordlist.text. I save that. And now if I'm in Intruder, for example, and I want to load this in, I can just come to payloads, click load, go to the right folder, and load in the word list that was created. So very fast and easy way to create word lists based on targets. And I hope that helps you out. So that's it for this video. I hope your workflow is a little bit more organized, collaborative, and efficient. Feel free to leave your Burp Suite extension recommendations in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time.